Bandwidth for today's show is brought to you by SoftLayer.com. We love SoftLayer here at Talkopolis. They are the greatest hosting company ever. They make everything easy. Check out their website at SoftLayer.com. Thanks again for sponsoring the show. Talkopolis, the social media TV network for your city. Hi, we're back with Mike and Valerie at the Nashville Fitness and Beauty Roundup. We've got a few questions from them, some of them from our Facebook friends. Uh, today we're talking about weight loss. Um, first viewer question is, can you lose the last five to 10 pounds while nursing, or does your body absolutely hang on to some body fat? Now, I know, Mike, you've got a couple kids, mm -hmm. and you both have dealt with um, pregnant women before or people post-pregnancy. So in your opinion, does that nursing period still cause women to hang on a little bit of the last five to ten is always the hardest, yeah. even for people that's not pregnant. Right. But it, <laughs> a lot of it's hormone related. Yeah. And so you can't really help that because what the body needs to do to produce for the baby. Right. And so you can work, you know, obviously curb your diet, just make sure you're still eating the right amount and exercise often. Mm -hmm. Then you can start getting that goal down. Right. Your, your weight down. But it is tough. I mean, it's tough anyway, oh, is what yeah. you're saying. Exactly. I About. think it depends on the woman and her yeah. metabolism and her body type. Mm -hmm. uh, you see some people that are thinner after they had their baby than they were before, you know, because of the breastfeeding, burning more calories and all that. Wow. Um, and then there's the opposite. Mm -hmm. You know, I think it's what the baby needs and what your body needs, and you may just have to, you know, wait a little bit longer. So the that. estrogen levels come back down yeah. to normal and things level out, right. basically, is what we're talking about. Okay, great. Um, will I lose body fat more efficiently? by performing my aerobic workouts at a low rather than a high intensity. So that is, you know, um, high intensity interval training versus steady state, low cardio, which do you think is better for fat burning? Or would it make, so one make move faster than the other? What do you think, Valerie? I would say generally high intensity always, you're gonna burn more calories. Um, Take the athlete, for example, you see very few athletes and they're generally, I mean, that are fat and they're generally <laughs> working at a very high intensity level, um, okay. very little break times. Um, but there, I do think there's a purpose once or twice a week to have that steady state cardio just to burn that extra fat off. But I think your metabolism is going to be spiked more at a higher intensity level. Okay. I think when your heart rate's raised, you're burning more calories. So right. you're generally going to have better results. Better exactly. Results. I like doing the high intensity with the low intensity. Yeah. Because you can't always do high intensity every time you work out. Exactly. And so you want to go back and forth and find your happy medium on what days you can do what and what days. You know, you can really crank okay. it up. So you do a little bit of both, almost like a progressive staggering out. One day might be more like a boot camp high intensity. The other day is a little more steadied mm -hmm. it for recovery mm -hmm. and so forth so you don't overtrain. Exactly. Okay. But you're going to burn more calories, I, I believe, on the days that... You're, you're busting intensity. it. Yeah. yeah. So not, not to say, so you're saying low intensity isn't bad. Right. No, it just has its and use there's a place in a different, for it. Yeah. In a place for it. Okay. Like you're going to burn more calories during that hour of high intensity than you ever would in the low intensity. Right. Right. And so the fact that it's low intensity may, mean, doesn't necessarily mean you're burning more fat that way. Just because it's low intensity, calories are being burned, right. you're going you're gonna to expel fat. Right. Exactly. Burn fat. Okay. Great. Uh, so how important with weight loss? Uh, diet versus exercise, would you say, I mean, does, is, can you, can you out, work out a bad diet? Can you, I mean, is diet, how much is diet? 50%, 70%? I mean, I hear I think 60 it's to about, 70. Yeah. 60 to 70 to 80. From, from diet. Exactly. Okay. So you're pounding M&Ms after the workout doesn't really, you don't treat yourself to some sort of big sugar. You just finish the Iron Man. Um, right. <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah, you just get whatever you want after the Iron right, Man. Right. But, but your typical workout throughout the week, if you're trying to lose weight, it's not like you just did something to, you've you've earned or made a spot for the uh, ice cream or the. Yeah, one thing cookies. I always say, you're always going to get out what you put in. Right. right. And so if you eat garbage, you're going to work out like garbage. garbage. You're not going to feel right. good. You're right. not going to be able to last as long. But if you eat better, you're already. You, you're going to feel better and be able to push harder. So exactly. not just from weight loss perspective, but also from your performance. Exactly. Yeah. It's going to affect Energy your performance. Energy levels, performance. Mm -hmm. So sugar, eating less sugar would actually affect yeah. negatively your performance in your workout and your ability to... Eat fat, greasy food, you're not going to do much. Yeah, you probably don't want to move a whole lot, mm -hmm. do you? Okay, that sticks. Great. Well, another one last viewer question here. Uh, I've been following up my walks and workouts, usually done in the mornings, with a protein smoothie. Uh, but I read recently that smoothies are not the best for post-workout because they contain too much sugar. 
uh, what's the ideal post-workout snack for people losing weight? So we just kind of covered this. What's, what would be a good um, snack post-workout meal? After workout, you don't want to stop your fat burning or stop the, the, the demand on your fat stores from your elevated metabolism. Valerie, what do you think would be the best? I have no problem with a protein shake. A smoothie, you think of McDonald's or something with high sugar, um, mm -hmm. but there are protein shake options um, that you can make. You can buy low-carb low protein powders and, and throw that in the blender with berries and you'd be fine. You know, limit it to 200 to 400 calories, no problem. Another good snack I would say is uh, berries um, paired with almonds. I would say a good uh, complex carb and a protein. Um, paired okay. together. Complex carbs. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mike? I always like the shakes. Um, bodies easily can easily digest liquids more than solids right after a workout. Mm -hmm. uh, obviously add in a fruit because your body does need some of the sugar mm -hmm. and your muscles need some of the glucose to get back in there. Um, also peanut butter, mm -hmm. bananas, a fruit, okay. like you say, and like some of the whole grains. Okay. So, so not, not like some of the smoothies might have cane sugar or evaporated whatever uh, cane sugar, they want exactly. to call it, but still right. processed sugar. You're right. talking about using a fruit sugar. that would have sugar. fiber in with it to kind of offset that glycemic right. effect. Right, index. Uh -huh. Okay, along with plenty of protein and a little bit of fats, it sounds like, mm -hmm. with the nuts and the peanut butter. Mm -hmm. Okay, so a little bit of everything in there, mostly protein, control the carb with something that is like a, a whole food, like a, a, nut. a fruit. Or yeah, a, a natural nut. sugar, not yeah. a process. Yeah. Gotcha. Great. Mm -hmm. Well, I think that covers it for our weight loss questions, but please check back for our next show. We're going to have Mike and Val back to uh, discuss structuring your workout. See you then.